Hello everyone, my name is Abhinav and I work as a BMS Algorithm Development Engineer at Decibus Lab. And in this video, we will explore what exactly is meant by SEI in a lithium ion battery. So, SEI stands for Solid Electrolyte Interface and is a solid chemical layer that gets formed on the adduct or basically the negative electrode of the lithium ion cell over time because of what is called as electrolyte decomposition. So, the formation of SEI there are nothing but the decomposition of the electrolyte starts from the very first cycle or basically the very first time the cell is used. Over time, as and when the cell goes on getting used, the thickness of the SEI layer goes on increasing because the electrolyte decomposition also contributes to this and also goes on worsening over time. So you can see here in the image how exactly the SEI layer forms is because of a combination of deposition of lithium ions and the decomposition of electrolyte material onto the anode surface. So why exactly does the SEI layer form? It forms as we had seen earlier because of the electrolyte decomposition and this decomposition can happen because of many reasons. So some of the most important reasons have been listed over here, starting with exposure to high temperatures or nothing but thermal abuse, Second, at high discharge rates or at high charge rates, which can once again cause rapid decomposition of the electrolyte. Over voltage or nothing but using the cell beyond the specified voltage limits or beyond the specified safety limits uh, specified in terms of voltage of the cell. Extended storage duration, especially at elevated temperatures, which can once again cause the electrolyte to break down. And age of the cell. So more older cells are basically the cells that have aged more or basically those cells that have degraded more will be more likely to form a much more dominant SEL layer on the anode surface. So these could be many of the contributing factors for decomposition of the electrolyte. So why exactly does the electrolyte break now? It breaks, breaks up because of a phenomenon known as reduction. A reduction is a chemical phenomenon by which an electrolyte or any chemical for that fact can start to gain more electrons and starts to form more compounds or basically side products. These side products, in terms of lithium ion applications, can start to form solid layers on surfaces like anode or cathode or both. So, because of this, the electrochemical electro stability can go on reducing either at high temperatures or at high charge rates or at high discharge rates. And because of this reduced stability, some passive layer or basically some solid layer can start to form. So, basically, this can again occur because of what is called as a set of side reactions. A side reaction is any reaction that is unwanted in a particular cell and start to, starts to alter the chemical structure or chemical composition inside the cell. This alteration in chemical structure is what is known as solid electrolyte interface. So, what effect does SEI have on the particular cell performance or cell behavior? So, initially, SEI layer is very thin and does not have much of a influence or does not affect the performance as much. But as and when the cell inside, as and when the cell goes on getting used or gets basically as and when the number of cycles of the cell goes on increasing, the thickness of the SCI layer also goes on increasing and can start to interfere with the main reactions or the major reactions that occur in the cell. By altering these reactions, more side reactions can occur, more of the electrolyte starts to decompose and instead of Performing as per the requirement, it starts to degrade and undergoes what is called as capacity feeding. It can also worsen to such a situation where certain, certain formations inside the cell can start to occur, such as dendrites or lithium branches, which we shall see in this slide. So basically, dendrites are growths of lithium or pure lithium metal ions that are deposited on the electrode surface, on the anode surface, and can start to grow over time if the SEI layer does not have any restrictions in terms of growth. So because of this, it can start to cause major problems or major hazardous situations inside the cell and can cause something called as short circuit and thermal ignition or thermal runaway. So you can see on the left hand side, a microscopic view of how exactly the dendrite looks like after the SEI layer has grown to a certain thickness. So, what exactly are the chemical compositions? It composes of many decomposed products from the electrolyte itself mixed with anode surface material and lithium ion. So, you can see over here, it's starting with very simple products such as lithium fluoride and LEDC which is low density carbonates, 
it can then produce into much more complicated carbonate compounds. So, the main composing factors or main composing materials are lithium carbonate, alkyl compounds and fluoride compounds. So, here you can see this is an example of what exactly happens when SEA grows and forms into dendrites. It can cause the cell to swell uncontrollably and then finally it can lead to what is called as thermal runaway or internal short circuit. This can cause a lot of hazardous situations if the cell is unrestricted, unrestricted in terms of dendrite growth and can cause severe hazardous situations for the user and for the vehicle both. So in this video, we have seen what exactly is meant by SEI or Sonian Electronic Interface, what exactly are the contributing factors that cause SEI to grow and what exactly is meant by electronic breakdown and we had seen what exactly are the composing chemical compounds of the SEI and some consequences of continued SEI growth which can lead to dendrites and then eventually cell failure. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that this video was useful.